YouTube, it's Blake, The Strafe, and I got a Halo Infinite update for you. Now, I know a lot of this can be a lot to read for people that don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to break this down to what I think are the most important points from all this. Halo Infinite's got an update on all the content that it's putting out here, and more. it's just more than pictures, so we got to go over it. First things first, they're talking about how often they're going to update Halo Infinite. And they're saying it's going to be about three months because it gives good players, excuse me, it gives players a good amount of time to experience and explore the seasonal content without having to constantly pull the rug from under players. Now, the first question in your head is going to be, oh, man, what about bug fixes? So if something's broken, we're not going to be able to fix it for three months? Boo, boo. No. Next paragraph goes right into that. They're going to be fixing bugs nonstop as they come up is what they're saying. But updates, like full-on game updates, like the gigabyte kind of stuff, that's going to be every three months. So boom, there. Simply put, next, talking about seasons. Uh, they're talking about events for each season. Season one, think of events as fun things for the players to experience and get rewarded. Almost every week, we'll mix up the activities that are presented to the player. So kind of like how Halo MCC has right now with challenges and such, I'm sure. Certain big weeks will feature events that have a new achievements and specific reward tracks, free track rewards. So, you know, it's probably some kill X amount, you know, do X amount of things, whatever, find the secret thing or, you know, in-game content like that. They're going to provide more specific details before launch, but look out for a special event type with the specific thematic rewards called a fracture. Blah, blah, blah. You do enough of those, you can get the armor. So they're going to make the armor achievement based they're gonna make it skill based you're gonna to have to earn it you can't just grind out lose and then unlock seasonal points it's gonna be specific challenges which is great it's exactly what halo needs if they're gonna have it it has to be like halo 3 in my opinion for the armor content unlocks we can't just give out the armor back in the day vidmaster meant something and i think it still needs to mean something in my opinion next customizations cosmetics you know, out the gate, players can get starting gear and rewards from the battle pass. Challenges, skill rewards, event and tracks, blah, blah, blah. H uh, Halo 5's SR-152 legacy rewards. But they just say, for example, and it's just that. So I'm sure there's going to be some MCC-related things, like if you get all the achievements, 343, if I do all the achievements before Halo Infinite, will you give me something special? Anyway, moving on. Blah, blah, blah. A lot about multiplayer overview. Uh, the battle pass isn't going to be a grind. We want it to be a supplemental reward stre uh, stream for the time you were already putting into the game. I, for one, can't stand it when I'm playing a game just to complete the battle pass. It feels like a chore to me. Yeah, that's kind of how Fortnite felt in a lot of different ways. Same with COD. I don't even bother doing it. So the fact that they're going to make it based on what you're already doing, that's going to be cool. All battle passes will be permanent. It means the Season 1 battle pass will be around forever. You always go back. So just like an MCC, you can go back and unlock items. They're going to allow you to go back to Season 1 challenges and grind those out just like everybody else. So if you're late, you can come into the party late. You still get the same things. That's cool. A lot of the same things are going to be skill-based, so I, I really don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? So this is Karen. This is Hyper Karen here. She wants to talk to the district manager, and if she can't, she's going to call the cops. So, you better figure it out. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So, that's pretty much what's going on with the, the first part of it. The next part of, way, uh, of this whole update talks about Waypoint. Long story short, there's going to be hardcore integration into Halo Waypoint. You're going to be able to customize your Spartan on the go, you're going to see your progress. You can see daily challenges. You can see everything away from your Xbox. So you pretty much stream all the content-related things. And if we look at this picture here, you know, there's like games. There's all kinds of different tabs. So there's going to be a bunch of different content on it. But mainly it's it's going to be you know game-based. You can click on different games and see your stats and track whatever. So they plan on keeping Halo 5, Halo MCC, and all the other games completely integrated with their main app so that's that's cool to see they're not just going to leave everybody in the dust when it comes to these upgrades and integrations for halo waypoint you got a little 
brand marking here for what it's going to look like in the app store or whatever. And then they just talk about redesigning and rebuilding Halo Waypoint to have a sleeker look, better text handling, font weight, things like that. Graphical design is going to get an upgrade, be easier to read. All right. Now, this is this is the most important part of this whole thing, in my opinion. And if you watch me for my opinion, I thank you. Going back to the earliest days of Halo 2, Halo games have always had additional out-of-game experiences brought to life on the web. How will Halo Waypoint help to extend Halo Infin Infinite beyond the game itself? And then representative from 343 Eric says, Well, let me start by saying I've played Halo since the very beginning. Good. And I've definitely played my fair share of Halo 2. Oh, yeah. In fact, it's the only game launch where I stayed up late to get in line for its midnight release. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember waiting up with my college friends, laughing about our past multiplayer shenanigans, not feeling compelled to stare at my phone while doing so. Yeah. You had to talk to people in line back in the day. You had to socialize. And when you socialized, it wasn't like, oh, I fucking beat you, BK. <laughs> It was like, oh, dude, I love that map. You ever done that shortcut like this to get the camo? Yeah, that's so cool. You ever done this? No, I've never done that. That sounds cool. That's what the conversations were like back then. So, nowadays, I feel like phones have a lot to do with that. Everyone's so egotistical on their fucking phones. Anyway. Back then, we weren't quite so connected, though. I think I had a flip phone and a Palm Pilot that only worked on Wi-Fi. <laughs> Palm Pilots. We weren't allowed to, uh, blah, blah, blah. If we weren't in classes, we were playing Halo in your dorm rooms. Land, baby! Multiplayer and campaign stats were super important to us. Oh, hell yeah. That's definitely still the case today. So this guy's kept this tradition from his early shenanigans in college and the release parties. He's kept that same vibe. And that's that's honestly what Halo is all about, in my opinion. They, need, they just got to keep doing that. They just, you know, don't change from that. Don't be corny. Don't be weird. Just fucking go party, you know? Have fun. Play the game. Challenge yourself. That's definitely still the case today. And for those who are hopping back into MCC for the new seasonal content and to relive their early Halo 2 glory days. See, the fact that this guy likes Halo 2 so much is just getting me fucking so ready for this game. Like, like my God. Like, can you be any cooler, dude? Like, like straight up. Like, I want to buy this guy a beer. We'll be capturing that as well. Players, <laughs> players should find we'll be keeping up with a great deal of their performance, but we're also delivering into surfacing gameplay features to both our web and app platforms. And as you can see down here, just like the old Bungie.net stats, you got your multiplayer, uh, you got your games, you got your KDs, you got your stats, most recent played games, I'm sure. But check this out. I know this is like these playlists are for MCC, but with all this Halo 2 talk. Like, how can you not continue to use these emblems? I mean, come on, guys. I mean, come on. I mean, you know you got to do it. You know you got to do it. Just keep using them. And go back to the original win format without throwing shitters on people's teams. If a shitter is a shitter, they're going to be a shit level. I hate to break it to you, but a shitter doesn't need to be a level fucking 20 when you're trying to solo grind up and then you got this, like, somehow level 20 dude going 3-20 and 20 against, like, 15s and 16s. It just doesn't make sense. Just stop doing it, man. Just go back to the old shit. It's real, I mean, you've heard, you're like, you're, you've got this dude here. You've got Eric, like, who knows, bro? Just ask Eric. Go ask Eric. <laughs> Speaking of gameplay features, opportunity to contribute in leadership, not only to our companion app, presentation, blah, 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 customization experience. So there's... It's the same thing we're getting out of MCC, but you can do it from your phone. He, and he goes into the story about like, oh, I'm going to pick up my kid while I'm waiting for my kid at the bus stop. I'm going to change my armor. And then when I get home, my armor is going to be ready when I log in. It's going to be badass. And yeah, it is going to be badass. So get ready for that. Customization. They just kind of keep talking about it. They just keep talking about you know, integration experiences. If you guys want to read into that, I mean, I was glued to the Bungie.net things back in the day. So I already know the basic spiel. But they go into a lot. They talk about their research development here. Um, 
designing their website takes a lot of effort, and they're gonna, this is going to look just look so fucking clean, guys. It's going to look so clean. God, look at all these. Oh man, those early like pads that you unlocked. Sheesh. But yeah, right here, uh, progression shown in game on the left. Blah blah blah, and on the phone. Move to Discourse as your form platform. So that's a huge deal. It's not Bungie.net anymore. It's not Halo Waypoint. They're going to go to Discourse. It's a huge benefit to players now get to use some of the most popular form solutions in the world who no longer, and for us who no longer need to build and maintain our own form as we did for the current site. So look, more free time for 343 to focus on the game. It's a win-win. The new service awards. I want to make medallions that look very premium, prestigious, also very unique to Waypoint. Took design cues from past commendations, medals, and achievements. Combine them with my work on the Halo Outpost Discovery Medallions. Hey! I hope our users love them and have fun collecting them. Oh, you know I'm going to be all about these. These look bitchin'. Hell yeah. This is like send an invite to a friend or something. This one's like a recruit one or a diamond rank. Oh yeah, that's a diamond. Okay. General. Champion. That's a champ icon for sure. Maybe Onyx. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, are you personally most excited about the next version of Halo Waypoints? All the stats. Yeah, cool. I'm excited about us showing Redacted Redacted. Oh, wow. It's so important they got to censor it because it was too cool. All right, here's the most important part of the video, and we're going to end it off here. What's the Waypoint team focused on remaining time up to launch? Eric, Halo 2 God, says, the only good bug is a dead bug. That's all I got to hear, man. If a guy that plays Halo 2 as much as he sounds like he's hype about, he's going to know. He's going to know all the problems with MCC. He's going to know all the things that are going on. He's going to fix them. Whether it be just an... I, I'm, I'm cool if it's just an infinite, man. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a beggar. Beggars can't be choosers, you know what I mean? Yeah, polish it. Polish up the game. Make it look real good. Make it smooth. Don't have any weird... Like, really, practice spamming inputs on a simulator. Or like, you know, like, Melee, you can make characters do crazy inputs. And look for bugs based on, like, 60th of a second inputs if you want to get really nerdy about it. Because there's people that are going to hit those bugs. Like, there's people that hit 30th second RRBX quads. So, you know, if you really want to not have to patch shit, I would suggest definitely doing that. All right. I'll just show you some pictures here. Master Chief is the heart of Halo. Yep. Yeah, he is. Their epic story has yet to be told. Joseph Statton, head of creative for Halo Infinite. Joseph Statton, thank you so much for everything you've done. Big shout out over here to Eric. Keeping the Halo 2 hype and mindset involved. I mean, Halo 2 built Xbox Live, man. Come on. Just keep doing it. That's all I got to say. Thanks for listening, guys.